What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are going to be taking a look at some of the best action figures from Mattel. Preferably we're referring to the WWE Elite figures in today's video guys. The best WWE Elite figures coming in 2018. Yes, we do have quite a few shown. We got some shown at Mania Access. We've seen some at some different toy shows and things of that nature. And I'm not going to ramble all day, guys, so let's just go ahead and get straight into them. There's a lot of great figures coming out. So starting out first, we have the Top Talents line. We have the AJ Styles, the Finn Balor, and the Seth Rollins. We have obviously seen this Seth Rollins before, but I had to throw it on here. I know that it's, you know, repeat head scan. We've seen the attire before in the Elite 52, which was a while back, but they did add the belt design, so I am obviously looking forward to that. I would really like to see that anyways. Um, that was actually something that I wanted to customize on my Seth Rollins, but I didn't want to actually add that. So I will be getting this figure just to prevent myself from having to, you know, go in there and paint over one of my Seth Rollins or whatever. We also have Finn Balor. Not a huge fan of the head scan, but the Extreme Rules 2017 attire where he took on Trash Corbin looks pretty nice here. And I'll probably just head swap it with the top talents. I already have a custom of this figure, but it'll still be cool to do some different fix-ups and things of that nature. I'm sure we can do some really cool swaps and swippages on WWE action figure surgery. And then AJ Styles. I hate that we're getting another black attire, but it is the Elite 66 head scan, and I'm all for new AJ Styles figures. So this is a really good one. I'm really excited to see this AJ Styles and this whole entire Top Talents line. And if you go to Ringside Collectibles Instagram page, they do call it the Top Talents line. I know a lot of people always say, it's Top Picks, Trey. What are you talking about? No, it's Top Talents. It's the Top Talents line. And um, I know they say Top Picks on the box, I think, but it is uh, I think you can use either name. I use the Top Talents. It just rolls off the tongue. You know, just Top Talents. Just right like Right like that. But next up, guys, we have a couple more figures, or actually three. We have Bobby Trashley, The Miz, and Tommaso Ciampa. I think all three of these are in Elite Series 69. Bobby Lashley is pretty much a perfect figure. I love the way he looks totally. I think that that is awesome. I love the accessories. I like the head scan. I like the body choice and the interchangeable hands choice. I think they did a really good job on this figure, and I can't wait to get that. Also, the attire is nice. Now we just need to get a Leo Rush in here. We'll probably get a basic of him before we get an Elite, but you know, it is what it is. We also have a WrestleMania 34 Miz figure in the red and gold. I love this figure to death. I think it's probably going to be one of the best Miz's. I love the, the red color really pops off. He kind of looking like my boy Iron Man in this one. And I hate the rubber coat, you know, he always comes with terrible rubber rubber coats, but I'll probably hack the sleeves off and, you know, just make like a little hybrid thing. I'll probably won't even use it to be real. Let's be, let's be real, guys. I'm, I'm not going to use the rubber accessory. I'll probably just throw him up there on Vindication or something, rocking the red attire. But Next up, we have Tommaso Ciampa, and Tommaso Ciampa, I'm, I have mixed feelings. I think the head scan looks good, but the torso is just way too small, guys. I mean, they could have totally used an Elite 33 Cesaro here. They could have used, you know, an Elite 47 Cesaro. They could have used any other torso. I mean, Tommaso Ciampa, ever since he got, you know, riddled with injury and he came back, he totally revamped his look. His physique looks phenomenal, and I don't think that it really does him justice here. With this figure on his torso, on his arms, I'll probably be doing a torso and arm swap for this guy, but I do like the cloth pants. I think that's a nice touch. I am waiting to see what the attire is. I don't know if we've seen the attire. Yeah, we have seen the attire. I just don't remember what it is. We also have the gold knee brace in there, and I think he does come with a crutch, so we're going to get classic heel. Tommaso Ciampa here from NXT in Elite Series 69. Next up, guys, we have a couple more figures. We got The Rock, and this is a part of Elite Series 69. And I know this is pretty much just a re-release of, I think, the Legends Rock that released way long ago. It comes with, you know, the True Effects head scan. It comes with a microphone. Nothing too, too special here, but I am looking forward to it. I always like Rock figures. One of my favorites of all time, so I'll definitely be grabbing this. And it's, I think it's a Walmart exclusive. I can't remember if it's Walmart exclusive or Target exclusive, but it's still a nice figure nonetheless. We also have my boy Seth Rollins here in the Shield attack. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of disappointed in this figure. I don't know why they didn't give him wrist tape at least, but he doesn't have his gloves. He doesn't have his wrist tape. And maybe that'll change when the figure comes out, but for now, it is not, you know, the way it is. It's it's just like this. We got the Top Talents head scan on there. Another Shield figure and... Um, I think it would have been a lot better had they given us one of his singles attires, but you know, it is what it is. Here it is. We got a Seth Rollins. We also have this Elite 
Adam Cole, baby, looking very nice. I love the, the interchangeable hands. I love the wide open mouth uh, screaming head scan. It's like a smiley face. Um, hopefully this one doesn't get old and tired like the Elite 45 Seth Rollins head scan. You remember they, they pumped that figure out a hundred times. Hopefully they don't do that with this head scan. And hopefully when the paint apps and the true effects comes in, this one will be really, really nice. You know, maybe you can interchange them when you're doing Adam Cole's entrance for pick feds and stuff when he does the Adam Cole, baby part or the Undisputed Era part. You can pop this head scan on there and it'll look a lot better. I'm also waiting to see what attire we get. I would love to see War Games in the, the, the camo in yellow. I thought that was a really sweet attire. And we also have EC3 and John Cena. And these two look absolutely great. I think that EC3 looks really good. You know, he's pretty much buried on television. I mean, everything that we saw of this guy was in NXT. The rest of everything he's done on the main roster has been literally nothing. They booked him to look like an absolute moron. So I don't know if I'd ever use him in the pick fed or something, but it's still a cool figure to have add to the collection. And hopefully they give him uh, the, the yellow and silver attire with the black contrast. I think that that attire really pops off nicely. And it'll be cool to see this figure when it is fully painted up. I think the head sculpt looks incredible. I think that that's a really nice head sculpt there. And with John Cena, I know that that's the Elite 54 John Cena body, but the head scan is updated and, you know, it's the old man Cena head scan, whatever you want to call it. I'm sure we'll get updated armbands. It'll probably be the, the Super Showdown uh, armbands with the You Can't Stop Me t-shirt, which is one of the worst t-shirts he's ever worn, but the, the, the head scan's phenomenal. I, I just think that Mattel is getting better and better with their head scans, man. They, they came up with these new sculpts. They're using the TrueFX technology, and it is just absolutely changing the game. They're absolutely dominating here. Next up, we have an epic moment set that I cannot wait for, and it is the Ultimate Deletion Pack with Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. Obviously, Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy have moved on from here, and this actually feels like forever ago because it kind of was, you know, both of them have been at, were out for so long, and then they just recently both came back, and they are no longer together, but... I think that their changes were for the better, but the figures look great. I love that we're getting the mower of lawn, we're getting the dilapidated boat, we're getting the Vanguard 1, we're getting the... Uh, all these accessories are absolutely great, and I can't wait for this. I think that this is going to be a great set. Can't wait to review it, do some cool shots with it, and all of that good jazz. I, I love the Bray Wyatt. I think this is the best Bray Wyatt to date with the, the tan boots and the red pants. Look so epic. I know that this is obviously outdated now because he's all Firefly Funhouse and crazy stuff going on television which I am absolutely in love with. Can't wait to get a figure of that. But um, this set looks fantastic, and the, the Epic Moment sets never disappoint. So I, I absolutely love these. And then for the last few figures, guys, we have Mustafa Ali. We also have a Ricochet, and then we have Jeff Hardy. And all three of these are absolutely mind-blowing. I love these so much. Ricochet, I'm kind of worried about. I don't know how I feel about the head scan until we get, you know, final images of it and all of that. What attire are they going to go with? It looks like it's going to be one of his NXT TakeOver attires, but I think his head may be a little bit oversized, possibly, and I'm I'm just, I'm, I don't know. I just want to see what the figure looks like, what torso they go with. Hopefully they don't go with the freaking Fandango ultra-ripped Creator Wrestler's torso that's not accurate to anybody in real life and then we have Jeff Hardy which looks so beautiful I cannot wait to see what attire they finally go with for this guy and Mustafa Ali we know that he's going to be in the Wrestlemania 35 Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal attire in the red and black and uh, you know where he took that big suplex from Luke Harper and this is uh, just a great group of wrestlers, guys. We're going to have Mustafa Ali. We're going to have Ricochet. We're going to have Ciampa. We're going to have all these great figures releasing of all these NXT guys. And it's just so nice to see. I know Mustafa Ali isn't an NXT guy, but uh, just one of those underrated guys that, you know, we didn't know we'd get figures of for a while. And here they are finally coming out in 2019. It's going to be epic. And I think that we're going to see images of all of these guys at Comic-Con. I think Comic-Con's in June or July, so maybe another month or so is when these figures will, all these prototype images will be finalized and we'll get to see exactly what they're going to look like, what attires they're going with, what, you know, head scans will finally look like and all the prototype images will be gone and we'll finally get to see uh, the final products and what they actually look like, but... I think that is all the figures that I'm looking forward to for 2019. I know that we have Elite Series 68. I would add, you know, Daniel Bryan, that C Seattle Seahawks colorway from uh, a few weeks after WrestleMania in 2017 or 2018, I'm sorry, when he was feuding with the Yep movement. And then um, we have, uh, uh, what, what's another figure from that? The rest of that set's kind of trash, guys, to be honest with you. I mean, I like The Undertaker, but it's just sort of underwhelming. Braun Strowman looks terrible. Brie Bella is terrible in that set. King Mabel, I mean, my God, guys. Elite Series 68 is just not 
my favorite set. But Daniel Bryan is definitely the best figure in that set that I'm looking forward to. But I think that pretty much does it for all of the figures that I am most looking forward to in 2019. And obviously, this doesn't include any of the figures that will... Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention the Hardy Boys. The Hardy Boys Ringside Exclusive 2-Pack. That Those figures look incredible. I can't wait for those. Those are definitely going to be on this list. And um, maybe I can pop up a picture here at the end. Um, I totally just slipped my mind there for those. But those are absolutely fantastic. Can't wait for those. And I think that's pretty much it. I mean, um, like I said, we're probably going to get even more figures shown to us at Comic-Con coming up in a couple months. And I think that maybe we can do a part two of this video where we show off, you know, more figures that we got. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below which figures you're lo most looking forward to. Did I leave a figure out that you were most looking forward to? Please let me know down in the comment section below. Didn't want to include basics or battle packs because they're all trash. Let's be real. I want to be real with you guys. Only elites over here on this channel. And a lot of the women's figures... Uh, I, I guess I gotta add the Ultimate Edition. The Ultimate Edition uh, Ronda Rousey is definitely on here. I definitely want to get that figure and see what those figures are and how they live up to the hype. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Again, comment down below what figures you're looking forward to for 2019. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.